But I have an opinion that I would like to bounce off you. Uh -huh. I don't know if you had it before. But first, I wish to thank you all for putting on this discussion and having a, an adversarial uh, point of view. It makes you very good disciples <laughs> in the overall uh, study of belief systems because you're encouraging uh, thinking, study, and discourse. We're happy to help, man. Get, promote us to to you, all your friends so that we can help more people. For, well, for you, I might even contribute to you guys. Uh, <laughs> the second thing I have to do is uh, state a little disclaimer. Um, I do not represent any uh, official position of the Lutheran Church. Okay. Uh, <laughs> which is where I go. Okay. I have to make that okay. clear. We have a, a doctrine that's made, you know, in the official church, and then everybody has their own personal religion. I mean, that's so true that, of every religion. Uh, okay, yeah. All right, here's the thing I want to look at on trying to go through from what I've heard and watched on uh, YouTube. Uh, you guys are supporting our evolutionary uh, development of sentient humans through natural revolution on this planet, right? So well, this we is a, have evolved, and wait. we just throw the word God in front of it and say God's revolution, and we have developed what? from, you know, more primitive first up to sentient creatures that know we die and have emotional capacity and come up with uh, our own ideas on where we came from. Let me, let me stop you there for a second, because because this is a show about atheism. It's not a show. Yeah. It's not the. It's not a show about <laughs> evolution. So I just want to make it clear that atheists. It's not an atheist position that evolution is true. Uh, it's just oh. that a lot of atheists. Uh, a lot of atheists accept evolution because it's a rational conclusion. And a yeah. lot of theists also and, accept and, it and, too. And, and what I hear you say is you is you personally is this correct you. You have no trouble accepting evolution uh, as the origin of species, but you just think that there was a God that started it. Is that accurate? Yeah, Christianity. Oops. Christianity absorbs everything uh, over time. <laughs> well, and like I would the Borg. <laughs> and I would just say that I don't see any evidence for the God part of that. So there's a lot of evidence that we evolved well, by evolution from natural selection, but. What, but I don't see any evidence that there was a God that started it. Okay. Well, you would agree that uh, you are alive? No, I'm you know? dead. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> to the best of my Isn't knowledge, I'm alive. Is this the land alive, of the dead yes. right now? Yeah. See Coco. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's my first thing. Well, we've only got uh, the limited amount of time uh -huh. that we have in our known universe. is not enough time to create a God figure. What? Um, Not following you. What, uh, the way we're moving now in cosmology uh -huh. are multiple dimensions and multiple universes. Has anybody... I don't think that's a settled a, question. The question is a possibility that in a different universe or a different dimension, God essentially evolved into a being with capabilities to do pretty much anything given enough time. So trillions and trillions and trillions of years, you could wind up with something, an entity with that much power. Now, we're, we're just a class zero society. Uh, <laughs> What do you do when uh, you we're meet we're the coming up spin? with new lore and definitions, apparently. Uh, I, I, I don't know if you're assuming that we'll know what you mean by class zero society or if you're oh. just waiting for us to say, what's that, so that you can explain. But I uh, guess let's just go ahead and ask. Well, the class zero society is one that doesn't control all the power of a planet. Class Did you come up is, with that, or is that from something? No, that's that is actually real. From uh, it's it's sociological. Um, okay, so this is a term. If I talk to somebody with a sociology degree and I said class zero society, they well, would be like, "Oh yeah, sure." Well, 
you could go to physics too. The physicists. Wait, don't, I don't, physicists don't do anything with societies. What? <laughs> no, no, they they try to categorize civilizations in our universe. No, they, no. Do you know what physics Physicist? is? Yes, it's a study of force, power, mass in the universe. Okay, but I mean. There are different disciplines in science. I don't know if you were aware of this, but it's not just all one big scientific cloud. Like, people specialize in things, and saying that physicists talk about societies seems like somebody who doesn't know what their field is and walked into the wrong classroom. Sorry, I'm nitpicking. <laughs> I feel like I'm just derailing your well, point, but that just seemed weird. Well, I'll just... Uh, it just a what it, a class zero doesn't control all the gen. Oh, I'm having problems because there's a difference between the picture and the voice. Oh, uh, oh yeah. turn off your sound. Yeah, we, there's a little on, delay on that the goes out. Stream. Yeah, I've got it all. Yeah, I've got that off. Uh, but the the direction for where is a god? Uh, if in this universe we exist. There, there is no proof, but there's a possibility in a different dimension or in a different universe, because now they're talking multi-universe, alternate universes, parallel, that you could have an entity develop that would have the capabilities that these people assess to God. Um, yes, I, I, don't, I don't see a whole lot of point in, in talking about what could be true. It's, it's like the guy who called earlier talking about the simulation theory. It's an interesting thought experiment, but until we have some kind of reason to think that something like that is going on, uh, it's just a thought experiment. So it doesn't really help us figure out what's true and what's not. It, just to think up of possibilities of what could be true. Yes, and then people use faith to essentially establish their basic beliefs. Well, sure, but faith is by and large a terrible way for coming to conclusions about truth. I mean, it, it's, it's, I would say, less reliable than just looking around and, uh, and believing what you see. I mean, people believe in all kinds of things, uh, but uh, their wild ass guesses and then deciding to believe in uh, a specific type of guess for no particular reason has a pretty bad track record. I mean, even if you're a Christian, then I'm sure you can recognize that a lot of things that, uh, that Muslims believe is nonsensical and that things Scientologists believe about uh, Xenu, the galactic space overlord, make no sense. Uh, and, and those people believe those things just as strongly as you do, so I'm sure you can see why we don't find faith a particularly compelling reason to accept your opinions. No, no I'm just trying to place it forward, and uh, I'm not asking you to accept the opinion, just the possibility of it. Now, the closest thing in science that you can come to this faith aspect would be the string theorist, which... Yeah. People don't have faith in string theory. That's why it's a theory. I'm so... Yikes! Okay, somebody's <laughs> gonna take this out of context. A theory... <laughs> Actually, from what I've heard, string theory isn't even uh, properly called a theory. It is uh, an interesting conjecture that a lot of it's, people are pursuing. It's more thought experiments than yeah. anything else. That's the principle. But I mean, I think you'd yes. be hard pressed to find anyone who says string theory is definitely true because I have faith. No, they invest their time and effort into string theory based out of faith because they're studying. No, <laughs> they. It, I. I would presume that the people who are looking into string theory are doing it because they are interested in pursuing a possible explanation about why things behave the way they do. I would say that anyone who just uh, believes that stuff happens a certain way without evidence would be a very bad scientist.
Yeah, because you're just going to look for things that support your faith. You're not going to really look to see what's going on. You're you're going to be cherry picking, I think, if you have faith in something before you start. Yes, the, the where you'd class this thing would be opinion, but they are working on it because they do believe it might unify classical physics with quantum. Well, might but is the key so word there. Small, they can't measure it, and so they're stuck. And that's why string theory is mainly a conjecture right now. And I'm sure we'll get flooded with emails to tell me that yeah. I don't understand anything about string theory. And you know what? You're right. Yeah, we're not cosmologists. That's why I, that's why I cautioned you at the beginning. We're, this is an atheist show. It's not an evolution show. It's not a physics show. It's not a cosmology show. We're, we're uh, you know, at best, we're people who kind of know a little bit about stuff. We're just a couple of dudes. Yeah. <laughs> well, the, okay, a question would be on this opinion of mine. Uh, all I would need to do would be to uh, come up with some physical proof. Essentially, you're quite realistic in your viewpoint. You want to see uh, physically demonstrated stuff that you know is real. Something that's something that's measurable and observable, you know, scientific method. Yeah, right. Yeah, and, and then there's people like uh, uh, believers, in a sense, that go off to things that are preternatural outside nature, uh, as well as the. Uh, William, I'm going to give you another just just a uh, short warning. I'm going to give you another minute or two, and then we're going to move on to the next caller. Cool. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, it is cool. I, I do appreciate you guys going out there. Uh, there is a essentially point that in your brain, there is a physical spot where you create an image of something else besides yourself. And it occurred when people evolved to the point that they knew they were going to die. And rather than allow it... That them just to sounds it, like so, vision. I mean, Excuse me? that what you said just sounds like vision. I mean, which a lot of animals have. Yeah. Like, they can put a well, it's an electromagnetic device, a little helmet they put on your head, and then they'll turn it on, and you will sense something else in the room because it fires up. It's the brain trying to evolve people into a comfortable feeling. Yeah, I, I can do die, that with a TV, also. When people would die, there was a question uh, that brought up essentially a basic religion. They used to just uh, fell down when, when they were walking, and they just kept walking because they had no sense of their own death. And then once they developed that, uh, then they started coming up with religious thoughts or explanation as to what happened to those people. And the brain will actually uh, develop that, and for Buddhist monks and Catholic nuns, when they pray, they do fire up that part of the brain. So there's okay. more activity. But um, yeah. that's an interesting aspect, but people, you know, it's a little bit beyond what, what that is. But anyway, yep. gentlemen, thank you very much. All right. Can you stay on the time. line uh, on hold for just another minute and uh, talk to our sure. screeners? And thanks very much for calling, William. I'll maybe talk to you again sometime. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Have a good day. You See too. ya.